Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, there's a discounted reading special going on for September. I have on my website. Uh, the link's in the description box below, okay? And do follow the ticker. It has all of the extra information you will need um, or anything else you need to know. Okay, Virgo, let's get into another September reading. Happy birthday to those of you who have birthdays today. Today is September 12th. Let's just do a real quickie and see if anyone has a birthday today who has let my moderators know in the chat. And if you want to skip this part, just go ahead and scrub forward to the reading. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> so we have Troy. Happy birthday on September 13th. To Troy, happy birthday to Queasy on September 14th. Abhain and Ralph is coming up on September 20th. All right, you guys, so let's get into this. Virgo's messages. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. Whoa, you've got the hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistence, working on it. Okay, let's see. Putting the hammer down. Rebuilding, working on something, something that was sabotaged. There's a, a very strong um, rebuilding energy happening here. Keys on a ring, many options, decision. So, okay. Some of you are getting yourselves back out there. You are... Rebuilding your self-esteem, <clears throat> um, making yourself available to other options in your life as a dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapting, changing, and healing. I like it. Wow, let me just get a couple of messages of love. I just want to pull these real quick. Um, you got a decision. Decision is being made this week. Let's see. Okay undergoing a spiritual transformation and an awakening okay virgos so yeah it looks like you are carving out some new paths in your life in the month of september you might be building a house rebuilding yourself physically mentally emotionally spiritually um you're going to find yourself with a lot of options um a lot of other paths a lot of other options in september and <clears throat> I mean, that dragonfly is like, I want to fly like an eagle to the sea. I feel like you um, going through this change, you're adapting, having awakening and healing. All right. So yes, many options, Virgo. <laughs> I feel like the world just opens up in front of you, opens up the horizon. Everything just kind of is like, wow, you've hit rock bottom. And now it's like, there's no way, nowhere left to go but up. Okay, so even when I look at this card, I feel like look at all the dark clouds are clearing. There's there's daybreak on the horizon after a sense of feeling defeated. If someone was ghosting you or not committing in a relationship, this really feels like you're you're just coming out of something here. You're waking up. Virgo is like having an awakening, waking up. Like you know, I kind of feel like your energy is like a you know, hey, wait a minute. I got options. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the, hold the phone there, Jake. Hold the phone. I'm okay. Things are going to be okay. I can rebuild. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's like fire burning. Your whole world's burning. Up. You know, no, nope, this is fine. This is great. I can handle this. Yes, I'm doing it. So, Virgo, um, I like it. <laughs> you get like a little kick in your step. Yeah, you got angels helping you. So you've got temperance here. Coming back into balance, Virgo. You might have Sagittarius in your chart somewhere. Gives you a little bit of your passion back. Let me see. Look at that. The ace. Or the eight of wands. Yeah, movement. Swift change. Virgo, I just kind of see you like you're on your horse riding off into the sunset. I don't know. You don't know where you're going. You don't know what you're doing. But... You're doing it. You're doing something here in September. You're going to get a lot of communication. People are going to be interested in you. Um, you know, it feels like you just kind of like you're surrendering. It feels like you're surrendering in September. Um, if you haven't already, and just coming back into balance and harmony and pretty much just like 
whatever will be will be if it's meant for me it'll be for me i'm not stressing if it's not it's you know what i mean like you're you balancing you have a good objective view about you know yourself and what's ahead like you've just got like i don't know emperor got some new clothes what's going on virgo's gonna be like shrieking in the street <laughs> telling everybody what's the matter why are you looking at me i'm dressed no virgo's like no you're not no no virgo is like opening up and letting it all out <laughs> and look at that virgo here comes the knight of cups somebody sees you running down that street naked and they're like mm, i need to have some of that so there's a knight of cups virgo i'm just kidding please don't do that we don't want anybody getting arrested Okay, we've got the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, there's a love offer coming in, Virgo, for you in September. Oh, my card fell. Oh, and it's going to be coming in pretty quick. So, and I just feel like somebody's going to try and stop this. What? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. What? What is that all about? Okay. Yeah, there, there may be somebody who finds out you get like proposed to or a love offer and, you know, you're at the altar, <laughs> you know, and they're like, there's anybody in the, anybody in the audience here to disagree with these two, this couple tie in the knot. Somebody stands up and is like, yo, over here. Yeah, no, he or she is mine. They can't get married. They can't be together. Somebody's going to like raise their hand and try to intervene, I think, in September. <laughs> You know, uh, when you get some kind of proposal or some kind of offer, somebody's going to try and stop it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, this took a turn, didn't it? Yeah. So Wheel of Fortune. Let me see. What is the deal? It could be an air sign. Uh, it could be somebody's father or an ex, an ex, some father of somebody's kids or a brother or an authority figure. It could even be like, um, for some of you, it could be like represent, representing an entity like the government or um, a corporation or a boss. I don't get it, but I'm just going to throw the messages out here. I don't have to get it, right? So there's definitely someone here is going to be like at the at the helm, you know, steering the ship, trying to stop someone from making a proposal or asking you out okay so you know just that's kind of like hey just so you know virgo that's one of those situations could be an aries um let me see who's making this offer to virgo oh okay look the devil yeah the devil's coming in trying to tempt you all right so this took a turn definitely took a turn someone's trying to protect you Oh yeah, they're trying to tell you, Virgo, don't go with that person. They're they're toxic. They're they're only after sex. They're this and that. Okay. And it figures, Virgo, because like this is how life works, right? You get up on the horse, and the higher up on the horse you go, the more people want to try and drag you down. So you start healing, you're having an awakening, it looks like you're doing really well, you're on a good path, and then here comes the little minions of temptation to see how far you've really come. And I feel like you have an angel in some way. Like, okay, I don't feel like there's someone who's trying to stop it because of bad intention. I do feel like someone is trying to say to you, or you might hear, it could be a, like a Capricorn is trying to come in and like, I don't know, Virgo. There's something here about you having surrendered and giving up and and just being like you're done with something. And then the then somebody comes in to give that love offer and another person steps in and is like you better think about that before you get with them either again or it's just a warning about somebody new, okay? Now, I do feel like, like, like I said, I don't feel like this person has bad intentions. I feel like they're trying to protect you or just let you know ahead of time. You know, it could be a big brother or a male, like a male or another friend. Let me see. Let me see. It could be an ex telling you like, hey, you know what? You better, you know, be careful. I don't like the vibes of this person who's making this love offer. Let me show me that devil. Huh. 
Okay, now you got the King of Pentacles. So it could be Capricorn. It's a, it feels like an Earth sign. It feels like an Earth sign who's coming, who's trying to come in, and um, you know they've they're going to make a compromise. They're making a decision, but this person. Mm, uh, there's a little obsession going on with this this person this love offer like they they get obsessed really fast i don't know if you know them i don't feel like they have been obsessed with you i feel like they they get very obsessive really quickly and um possessive yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and um i mean the emperor can represent like a spiritual um force that you get some kind of sign you know um about this shift and this change that like some of you might get some kind of warning like i mean the emperor is all in this red so the emperor is coming in with it this could be like a, a giant red flag in human form <clears throat> or it's an energetic red flag that's coming in to let you know like be careful be careful of someone here. Now, I don't know. Let me let me take a look. I just want to dive a little deeper into this emperor. Okay, I've got the star. The, the star feels to me like the star is associated with faith and with the heavens and the angels and, you know, the North Star and, and the spiritualism. Um, I feel like whoever's coming in to just... It's a protection thing. Does that make this other person bad? Uh, I feel like it's more so that you are so valuable and so precious to whoever your spirit guides, your angels, God himself, you know, um, whomever, that there's just this shield, this force field that is protecting you. And... It's maybe so that you don't, because love's coming in real quick. I can tell you that. It's going to start like from all avenues. And it might be kind of like, I, I feel like even if you connect with someone great, there's still going to be this, this, force, this force field over you, you know, of spiritual protection. Um, you might have... Some of you might have called that down upon yourselves. That's what they're saying. Someone, someone might have, um, what's the word they're giving me? In, infused this upon themselves or are asked for protection or you're wearing some kind of amulet or something to protect you in your relationships with people. And I feel like you have, it's like you're walking around with an invisible bodyguard who's watching your every move, watching your every step. That's really what I feel like is going on here. <laughs> I can't think of the word. It's in F in 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 something. You know, when you like not indoctrinate, but like in not infused you I N F something. I can't think of the word. Maybe it'll come back later. But um yeah, I feel like you've got this divine protection over you. I really do. And you do have definitely love coming in, but I do see this person, even with that devil energy, there, there, is, a, there is a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of an edge to this person. That's what I'll say. Not that that's bad, but it feels like they might have um, a bad habit, like I said, of being overly obsessive or possessive. And also... Um, bad habit of ghosting too so i don't know i feel like you gotta be a little discerning here all right what else is going on here for virgo i mean i feel like this person has a lot of money or they're a business person yeah so i like it virgo it looks like it looks like you're gonna basically in september just be like okay I'm, I'm, let me just like stop for a minute and try to understand what's going on here with this person before saying yes to them. I mean, I'm not saying you're going to meet someone tomorrow and then by the weekend they're going to propose. It could happen, but it feels more or less like an energy of um, somebody just coming in and, and being very flirtatious and being very romantic with you and like a little charming, you know, 
a charming, you might get tempted. And I feel like, you know, that force field, that, that angelic protection around you is saying, hey, yo, don't get the flattery will put a spell on you. Don't get flattered. <laughs> Be like, keep your mind, keep your mind <clears throat> present. Okay. Yeah. Because your emotions might get the best of you and might want to have you run with your passions and your feelings. Yeah. So that's that. Okay. That's an interesting message. All right, what else is going on here? Look at you, planning and planning. I like it. I feel like your your energy is pretty much going forward. Like you're not jumping in anything. Um, now, what did Melly say in the chat? I saw um, in the replay. She said, "I'm just going to be a rose and let the bees come to me." <laughs> I love that. I've never heard that before. So, hey, Mel, thanks. That was awesome. I really love that. I'm just going to be the rose and let the bees fly to me. So I feel like, Virgo, that's kind of your energy. So, you know, when that happens, you, you'll you attract a lot of bees. You'll attract some, some bees that are not great bees, and you'll attract some bees that are good bees. You know, you're, you'll attract everybody. So it's definitely an energy here of using your discernment. Um, with who you meet and anyone that's coming in with like, making some kind of a love offer to you or being romantic and flirty and uh, charming with you. I feel like your angels are around you and you'll get some signs of something, you know, that will just either remind you um, or something that you'll hear or you will intuit or you will see um, that will kind of stop and, and, and make you... Just stop for a minute. Just pause before uh, moving something forward, which I feel like that is part of that rebuilding for you. Um, you you may have in the past just kind of like not stop to assess and see if see like get to know this person and find out like who they truly are. Um, you know, because that dopamine, that love dopamine hits in the beginning. And it makes us blind. We fall in love with like a freaking couch. You know, it just makes us blind. And we're just like, oh my God, I love everything about you. And it's like, and then like that SpongeBob, you know, three months later, it's like, Jesus, what was I thinking? <laughs> it's just the natural course. It doesn't make anybody bad. But it, it's just kind of like not getting swept up in the in the waves of emotion, right? All right, so you've got the Ace of Wands. I see you protecting your new beginning, and I see you staying on the staying the course of what you're doing in your life. You know, I, I don't see you, I hope, but I, I feel like you're kind of like, you know what, I'm not going to jump into something right away, especially something that's sexual, super, super crazy sexual right away. Um, I just kind of see you're slowing your roll, um, but you are definitely going to be getting hit on, so to speak, in um, in September, especially, especially for some of your birthday was, um, they're just giving me September 17th and 18th could be significant, September 13th, um, September 23rd. Uh, August 23rd, excuse me. I don't think September 23rd is, I think that's Libra. And I really cannot remember. <laughs> but if you're, if you're on the cusp, okay, for you. Um, and uh, August, uh, I'm sorry, August, no, no. What is this? Hold on. I'm hearing like 10 different um, numbers in my head here. September 11th, birthday, and the 12th, okay. And September 21st, now they're saying. And I'm also getting um, August 24th, okay. So I don't know, they're just calling that out. And so that could be for you, may or may not be for you. It could be. Um, I was just saying August 28th, 
Okay, let's see. A couple of other messages here. Okay, financial challenges could affect this connection. Um, hmm. So this relationship deserves a second chance. So for some of you, this could be somebody you know. But if you turn this person down right away, um, if you don't know them, they come they come in new and you turn them down, um, they're going to want a second chance. So I feel like there's, remember I said this person is that devil, they get a little possessive. I feel like they're going to keep trying. Like, give me another chance. Give me that. Like, they're just really on top of you. No, really. Seriously. Like, they even will try to be on top of you. And Virgo's like, whoa. Hold up. Hold up. I don't need to be feeling that through your pants yet. Hold up. Yep, there you go. Strictly sexual. All right. So, you must be getting protected by something. This person, like, oh my gosh, an addiction. Like, somebody gets very... All right. That's it. Try to get... Uh, maybe you should... I don't know. Bodyguard. I'm hearing it. Remember, I said it. Some kind of like invisible bodyguard, some kind of protection. Um, somebody gets very obsessed with you, Virgo. Like physically, like, ugh, they're drooling. Okay, that's creepy. Oh my God, someone is secretly longing for you, yearning for you. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Like Virgo, look, obsession, you can't. <laughs> Virgo, um, this isn't like, you, you've been down this road, right? You've been down this road before, right? So... Some of you, I don't know, are going to be like, oh, yay. Oh, and some of you be like, oh, yay, an avocado. Ugh. No, you might be attracted to this person. You might not be. I don't know what's going to happen here, but I can definitely tell you that somebody is coming in here long and hard for you. I'll tell you that. Um, how much time do I have left? I can't even see. Okay, that's fine. I think I've done like 20 minutes. Um, let's take a look and see. <sighs> what other messages are here? Fever. Oh, my goodness. What the? Transition. Wow. This is a death card. The end to suffering is upon you. Out with the old, in with the new. No one said it'd be easy. This is a season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a new... A new hemisphere. So, you know, Virgo is all part of the seasonal change. Allow things to happen. Go with the flow. It's now time for change. So whatever changes you're implementing in your life, keep that going. Good. Some of you might be relocating or moving. Um, some of you are going into no contact. Um, putting the effort into your life and what you're doing because you're done with the struggle. You're putting that effort into areas where you know that you will see growth. So in other words... This is all about stopping for a minute and just kind of being like, okay, if I apply for this job, is there room for me to grow where I can reach the top of the ladder in this job? Or will this job pay a lot of money, but I can't go anywhere in it? So this is kind of like hmm, picking your battles, you know, choosing what you want. Do you just want all the money right now with no opportunity for growth? Or will you take a cut in a little bit of money um, where down the line you can reach the highest level of the company and then make more than you would be making in the other job? if you just took a higher pay. So this is kind of like putting in the effort where you will see the most growth and not wasting time anywhere else. Struggle, challenge, competition. Yes, it's over. You're also getting a loan offered to you in September by a loving older female. Could be a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces female who's making, giving you a little extra money. You also have a message from an admirer. Um, Who's testing your faith and your boundaries? Ooh, yeah, yeah. It looks like you're gonna have to have some boundaries up. Yeah, you're making new plans, Virgo. It's like, you know what? I'm doing this differently this time around. So you've got the Wheel of Fortune, so luck is on your side. This is good. You're gonna be okay. This is like, um, whatever these new plans, you're, you're they're gonna work out, is how I feel. Look, the strength and the courage to do what you need to do. Um, you know, a lot of people don't want to put boundaries out, up as far as new relationships go because they feel like they may never meet somebody again. And so they just kind of settle and take whatever. Um, at the end of the day, it's your choice. However you would choose to live your life and whatever you want to do, that's up to you. For some people that works and for other people it doesn't work. So to each his own, right? Um, 
I don't have a say in that. Like, I can't be a judge of that because I, I understand that there's this loneliness that can come over people. And I understand that they, sometimes people just want to have a body next to them. They want to have somebody. But I do understand, too, that they will sacrifice a lot, even their soul, for the wrong people just to keep their company, keep company, you know? So, you know, I, I feel like if you have the courage to stand on your own two feet and do your own thing, and not have to sacrifice your morals or values or the things that you, you know, your self-respect. If, if you have the ability to do that, awesome, do it. But if you're one of those people that's like, because there are people out there that just cannot stand to be alone. They have to have somebody. And they tend to overlook the negative traits of the person that they're latching on to. And just because they don't want to be abandoned. And But what happens is eventually they leave because but not until they've found someone else. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know where we're going with that, but I just kind of feel like this is all about your courage and strength to stand on your own two feet. That's the message. You get it. You have it. There's your spiritual principles as well. What are your spiritual beliefs? Will you conform? What path are you on to lead you into where you'd like to go? And so this is a message of checking yourself at talking to yourself, becoming your best your best friend, your best advocate for yourself. No one's going to be an advocate for you, Virgo, except maybe for me here and yourself, right? So, all right, they just said pull some romance angels. I have been doing readings. I must have done like 10 readings today. All right, finances and career. I feel like that happened before. Some of you are choosing to just not get into anything in September. Um, you'll be choosing just to focus on your career and your finances. Um, and that's that. Okay. Some of you do have like um, a situation that could lead to marriage with this person. So mm, it's two different messages there. So which one are you, right? <laughs> are you the, I'm going to love myself first and keep my self-respect or I'm just going to marry whoever comes along because I don't want to be alone. Like who, which Virgo are you being? I feel like I know the answer to that. Okay. Some of you have a soulmate calling you. Um, they're keeping an open mind about your differences. Despite your differences, I feel like this person is going to reach out and express their love to you. So this is a soulmate. Um, you guys have differences. Big differences. Huge contrasting differences. Um, this person doesn't care. I feel like they don't care. Um... If it's like political differences, racial differences, geographical distance, or di uh, differences, um, financial differences, whatever, uh, status, placement, society, they don't care. They're going to reach out. Um, they're going to call you and um, tell you how they feel about you, express their love for you. Okay. That's it. That's cute. I don't know if that's related to this person, but I will say there is a soulmate who's going to reach out and... They want to touch you. <laughs> they want to touch you. All right, let's get into the Chinese. Yeah, so the reading does seem like it's going a little bit quicker. And I think that is because I've cut out the brown cards, you know, because I started using the dice. So just so you know, okay, I've got Year of the Rabbit, Year of the Pig, Year of the Rooster, Year of the Ox, Year of the Snake, Year of the Dog. Year of the Tiger, and Year of the Goat. So that could be you. It could be your person. Take it with a grain of salt. It might not be any of you. And make sure if you didn't catch all the messages, do go back, put it in your save list. Go back and replay if you need to. All right, let's see what all the, all the, all the messages are here. I'm getting them all. We're taking them all out. All right. If Steve-O, if you are here, I'm very sorry. But this is going to be hell. <laughs> so let's start with numbers. We have someone born 1962, 1970. Okay. We have 1989, 1986, 1975. Okay. Important a month. January, July, huh. 
January and July. So maybe the person you connect with, they have there's someone has a birthday in January, someone has a birthday in July. Okay, so September 18th, September 6th, birth dates for Virgo, September 9th. Okay, someone's born in 1969, someone is born in 1981. Okay, we have the age 34, age 54, age 56. Also, August 31st, we have someone who's age 30, 31, and 39. We have an age 45, okay. And September 21st, I feel like that was already out there. Okay, let's check and see what names we might have here. Marsha, they just said, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Okay, we have the name May, L, I'm sorry, L, M-A-Y, Fay, May or Fay. Okay, we have G, X-I. We also have Lee, L-I. Let's see. We have Sarah. We have uh, somebody's name. Okay, they're giving me a couple of last names here. I don't know if you can see these. Sorry. We have Mayer or Meyer. Mayers. Myers. M A Y E R S. Or Myers. M Y E R S. Oh, they just said Christmas. <laughs> X M S. X M A S. Christmas. Oh, and here we've got Lear, Liar, Lear, okay, that's strange, Liam, I'm hearing Liam, L-I-A-M, Liam, uh, Remy, R-E-M-M-Y, uh, Reba, Rebecca, don't y'all be making up your own names, you can if you want, if you guys see a name, you can call it out. Um, someone is a mailman, <laughs> works as a mailman. Um, let's see. I just heard Qdoba. Isn't that a restaurant? Or isn't that a place somebody eats? Qdoba? Okay. Um, Riley. Riley. Um, Ian. I A N or I N. I think it's Ian. Okay. Uh, Brianna, we have uh, Brian, okay, whoa, uh, okay, hold on you guys, hold on. They're giving me the word scent, C-E-N-T. Millicent or scent, here's ha, H-A-A, ha. Uh, Tascent, what the hell does that mean? I don't even know. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, Mace, someone's name might be Mace. Um, we have Cam or Cammy or Camera or Cameron. Uh, we have Tony. Or Anthony or Anton. Okay. Someone's going camping with a tent over the weekend, perhaps. Okay. We have Han, like Han Solo or Mr. Han. Who knows what Mr. Han is? Um, picking up Mac, we have Mac. And Jack, Jackie, Jacqueline. Jackson. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to leave those there. If any of that resonates for you, definitely calling you out for your reading. Um, let's get a couple of signs. And see. Oops. Um, Virgo, Libra, Pisces, Cancer. Virgo, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus. This would be your person's sign. If you have a person showing up here or it's you could be your rising or your venus sagittarius leo 
Libra, Sagittarius again. One more. And Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, and Aries. Okay, a couple of charms here for you guys to see. What do you have? You have Love My Dog. <laughs> oh, Virgo, do you love your dog? There you go. Virgo's like, I love my dog. Whoops, there you go. That is too cute. Your doggy loves you, Virgo. That's your soulmate. If you have a doggy, that's your soulmate. If you don't, maybe go get one. That's unconditional love right there. Oh, look, somebody has puppy print. Or somebody's coming in with that puppy. Oh, yeah. They're, they're going to uh, give you a puppy for a birthday gift? What? Okay, somebody's getting a puppy. <laughs> Let me see what else. And you've got a snowflake, Virgo. Okay. Snowflake. Well, <laughs> it's terrible to say, but somebody might think someone's a snowflake. <laughs> oh, look, here's a puppy dog print again. Maybe that's somebody's like animal name, snowflake. If that's the case, I'm, yeah, okay. Or a snow, snowbird or snowy or someone has an animal or you live in a snowy area. I don't know where in the country it would be. I guess some places could be getting snow. I don't think so though, because I think it's like been very, very hot. Um, somebody might be getting a, a dog during this, during the snowy season. I have to say that a puppy could be a cat too, like a kitten because a print, a paw print doesn't necessarily mean it's, yeah, look, look, there's a cat. Yeah, okay. So there's something going on here with animals, for sure. So either you have a cat and a dog, or you have both. Um, I mean, oh my gosh, they're just saying that they love you so much. <laughs> like your animal, it could be your, oh my gosh, for some of you, yes. Meeting someone new, especially, or having someone from before coming around, your pets know. Your pet knows. If your pet likes that person, then they feel there's something, if your pet does not like that person, mostly, I think it's the dogs, isn't it? They're the, like, they're the sensors and the feeling, the feelers of the animals, right? And if they don't like someone that's coming around you, they're going to let you know. That could be that protection as well, like your spirit animal it could be a dog. Or it's a, an animal that you have. You know, if you have, if you're one of those people that like, feels you need that kind of protection that's the way to go definitely the way to go as far as animals taking care because they can sniff out the worst types okay anyway we're going on and on so yeah if you want to join my only fans you can get spicy readings with me every monday over there it's through uh 4.99 to sign up I always forget if it's four nine. Yeah, it's four ninety nine to sign up, and I put weekly readings up there with cards that I can't use here on YouTube because YouTube will strike me or ban me. So go on over to OnlyFans, and you can renew if you want. If you enjoy the readings, they're weekly, or you don't ha you don't have to keep doing it every month. It's just a subscription. And yeah, don't forget to check out the personal readings. Thank you for everyone who's buying me coffee can never have enough coffee and I am drinking it every day and yeah to everyone who's been donating to the rescue funds I greatly appreciate you for doing that it makes me so very happy to see that number keeps going up so if you haven't yet please consider donating to help rescue exploited and trafficked children my first and foremost job for life is to help out in any way I can with the kids and I know you guys are totally on board with that so I will see you all back here tomorrow have a wonderful evening take good care love each other love yourselves and I will see you later bye my heart rages around like an ocean that I live.